Mars. We all know what we have been taught, that Mars is a cold, dead world. I am not seeking to rebut the cold part, or the thin atmosphere part, but facts are facts. A close examination of the photos reveals considerable vegetation. We will start with the simpler life forms and work our way up. I am a horticultural specialist and a photo specialist, so I know what I am talking about. I will be mixing Mars photos, including true color photos, with Earth photos that I took with a digital camera made by Concord. We will make actual comparisons between Mars photos and Earth photos. I do have a bit of a lisp due to an illness called Bell's palsy, which is caused by a virus. Please be patient. Well, this is Artifacts of Mars. Here we have a really striking photo. I thought I would lead off with this one to show the people that I am very, very serious about this. We're going to look at this patch right here. This, folks, is growth of some sort. Probably a moss, maybe a lichen. The moss is a small, almost microscopic plant. We know what they are. We see them everywhere. If you've ever been out in the woods, you see mosses on rocks. No big deal. It's photosynthetic. A lichen is a symbiotic organism which includes a moss and a fungus. Fungus being a decomposer, obviously. So what we have here, you can see the fuzziness of the individual strands right in through this entire area. They're sticking up in some places probably close to two inches high. That is a growth. It's a little different from an earth moss, perhaps, but the growth nonetheless. So that's good. We have that identified as either a moss or lichen. My guess would be moss. Over here, we do have more patches of this. There is some bluish tinge probably due to the uh, filters they've been using. But it doesn't explain how you have a patch like this the little hand is where it's very strong and then there's nothing there, then we have another patch. That can't be explained so easily. Here we have an unusual object with kind of a handle on it. I don't really want to go there, but I'm just pointing it out. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. Here we have more rocks in distance. We can see the bluish. This one's virtually encrusted completely with it. But the main point is that we're not seeing something that's flat and just a color. What we are seeing is growth. If you were able to go to Mars, you'd be able to reach down, touch it, and it would feel all fuzzy, no doubt. First, we can't go to Mars, and we have to look at it in photos. That's about it for this picture. we got lots more to do, so we're going to have to get rolling on it. I'm going to bring in some other photos, maybe even one or two of the microscopic photos. There's some very interesting things in those. Into segment one. Okay, from Spirit Soul 50, this is another true caller photo. Very interesting object. There are things I can point out about this. But I'm going to uh, skip the, most of those and just point out the growth that we're seeing. Up here we have the fuzziness. This looks like more like a fungus than it does a lichen. Because remember, lichen is a symbiotic organism. The moss part of it obviously has chlorophyll, it's green, produces its own food. So 
So, I don't know. This is fuzzy. Not especially green. It may be a fungus of some sort. Maybe a fungus that eats rock. And again, we can see the same effect on this side with uh, the same basic type of thing. Only this has a little tinge of blue to it, just slightly. More blue patches here. But here's the darling in the photo, in my opinion. Right here, we have something sticking out of the rock. It's not something you see every day. But it is almost certainly a small plant that's sticking out of the side of the rock. I can't tell a lot of stuff about it, except there seems to be leaves, and they are green, and they stick right outside. So that's good. We have an obvious incident of a plant sticking out of the side of a rock, and of course, death and silence as usual from NASA. So that's in the segment two. Now we're going to show the difference between a patch of moss in black and white and in color. This is going to be important because I'm going to go over a few of the spirit photos which show apparent mosses on rocks. Here is color photo taken by me with a Concord digital camera. Quite an ordinary moss growing on tarmac. Let's take a look at it in black and white. Notice how we have kind of fuzzy areas here. It's the same patch of moss. But since it's in black and white, we don't have the color to go by. So we gotta look for little clues like the snake thing right here. Whatever you call that. Again, in color. You see, we have these various patterns. It's kind of just like a little bushy growth. That's what it looks like. Again, in black and white. To get used to seeing it, we're going to look at some of the spirit photos. Here at Spirit Soul 148, we have a possible candidate for moss. Look at this dark patch right here. Notice how it's kind of fuzzy looking. That's a te telltale sign that there's growth there. And again, here in this area and here in this area. There's also numerous fossils in these rocks, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Again, another area which is possibly a moss or a lichen. And here's some more. Now, if anybody cares to dispute me on that, I'll be happy to show an actual earth rock which has mosses and lichens on it. or a tree trunk, or whatever. I think we're going to do that next. So well, here we have the mystery of disappearing lichen. Here's a tree trunk which is covered by lichen. This is a color photo shot with my digital camera. Now we're going to take it down to black and white. Boom! Can you tell there's anything there? Well, if you have a trained eye, once again we can see the growth, the fuzziness that's on the trunk. That's your tell telltale sign right there when we're looking at a black and white photo. I'm just pointing that out so when we look at the spirit or even the opportunity over photos, we won't be confused when we see something like this that almost looks like mud caked on there, we can pretty much assume that it's life.